In this lesson, we're going to have a review about Dessen's formula and then we're going to apply Dessen's formula to solve or to prove some geometric properties. First, recall muna tayo on how to identify the coordinates of a given point. So, una, identify natin yung coordinate ng point D. So, check mo muna kung saan part siya ng X nakatapat. So, this is negative 5. So, y naman, that is 7. Ibig sabihin, ang kanyang coordinates is negative 5, 7. Next, yung point i naman. So, check mo muna kung saan part siya sa x nakatapat. So, that is 7. Sa so, y naman, that is 8. So, ang coordinate niya ay 7, 8. Sa so, point s naman, check mo muna sa x kung saan siya nakatapat. That is negative 7. Sa so, y naman, that is negative 6. So, we have negative 7, negative 6. Yung point T naman natin, nakatapat siya sa x na 2 and sa y na negative 2. So, ang point natin is 2, negative 2. So, take note na laging una yung variable na x bago yung y. Now, let's find distance between two points. We have here point A and point B. Yung point A natin may coordinates na negative 2, negative 2 at ang point B natin ay at 2, 6. So, we need to find the distance between point A at negative 2, negative 2 and point B at 2, 6. We need to find how long the line segment AB is which connects the point, the two points. So, kunin natin yung distance nitong dalawang point na to. So, so, one way to find the distance between these two points is to draw a right triangle. Una, hanapin muna natin yung distance nitong, tong across na line natin. So, bilangin natin kung ilang units from point A papunta dito sa kanto na to. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, itong across natin is 4 units. Yung ating up naman will be how many units? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, we have 8 units na upward. So, since meron tayong na-create dito na right triangle, we can now solve for the measurement of AB. So, to solve for the measurement of line segment AB, we can use Pythagoras theorem to work out with the measurement of AB or yung Pythagorean theorem natin. So, it says here na yung Pythagorean theorem natin is AB quantity squared is equal to 4 squared plus 8 squared o yung C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Yung square daw nung legs ng ating right triangle, yung sum nung square nung legs ng ating right triangle is equal to the square of our hypotenuse. Kaya meron tayong AB quantity squared is equal to 4 squared plus 8 squared. So, pag sinimplify natin yan, 4 squared is 16, 8 squared is 64. So, 16 plus 64, that is equal to 80. Pero, naka-squared pa yung AB, so we need to get the square root of both sides. So, yung square root ng 80 is equal to 8.94. Or, kapag sinimplify mo yung 80, ang factor niya is uh, 16 times 5. So, it will be 4 square root of 5. Next naman, we can find the up and the cross lengths by subtracting the x, y coordinates of the point instead of counting yung units ng ating um, distance o yung, yung ating length na to. Instead of counting, we can subtract the coordinates of una yung y sub b tsaka y sub a pagdating dito sa up. So, yung y sub b natin is 6 at yung y sub a natin is negative 2. So, 6 minus negative 2 is equal to 8. So, the same lang kapag binilang mo siya. Yung across naman natin, we can subtract yung x sub b tsaka x sub a. That is, 2 minus negative 2 is equal to 4. So, same lang din kapag binilang mo siya. So, in short, we can write out the Pythagoras theorem using the subtracted xy values. So, pwede tayong mag-solve ng distance ng length ab using Pythagorean theorem sa paggamit lang ng pag-subtract ng ating y-coordinates at saka x-coordinates. So, using AB quantity squared equals across squared plus up squared, 
yung kaninang sinubtract natin na up na y sub b minus y sub a at saka yung sa across na x sub b minus x sub a, pwede natin isubstitute dito sa formula na to. It means we have a b quantity squared equals x sub b minus x sub a quantity squared plus y sub b minus y sub a quantity squared. And this is now our distance formula. Pero first, we need to remove the squared by extracting the square root of both sides. Kaya we have square root of x sub b minus x sub a quantity squared plus y sub b minus y sub a quantity squared. Sa ibang book, ito ay x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity squared and y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity squared. Ito ngayon yung tinatawag nating distance formula. Refresh natin yung mga steps. Una mang gagawin is label the points as point A, B. Ito na siya, may label na siya, point A, B. Of course, ka-identify mo yung iyong coordinates. So, meron ka negative 2, negative 2 sa point A at 2, 6 sa point B. Next, you need to label yung A natin as x sub 1 and y sub 1. Yung B naman yung x sub 2 and y sub 2. Or pwede rin magkapalit. Pwede mo rin palitan yan. Pwede yung A mo ang x sub 2 tsaka y sub 2. Yung B mo naman ang x sub 1 tsaka y sub 1. After that, substitute the values of x sub 1 and y sub 1 and x sub 2, y sub 2 numbers into the distance formula. Yung distance formula natin kanina na AB is equal to square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity squared. AB is distance. So, this is line segment na nirepresent lang nung ating line kanina. Pero, pwede rin tong uh, D or any letter will do. So, after that, after substituting the values, we can now calculate and simplify. Ganun lang kasimple yung pag-solve ng distance between two points using distance formula. Now, let's try to solve the example a while ago using na the distance formula na square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity squared. So, una, identify mo muna yung mga coordinates natin. Yung point A may coordinates na negative 2, negative 2. Yung point B naman is 2, 6. And then, label natin yung point A na x sub 1 and y sub 1, yung point B na x sub 2 and y sub 2. So, i-plot na natin sa ating formula. Yung x sub 2 natin will be 2, ang x sub 1 natin will be negative 2, at ang y sub 2 natin ay 6, at ang y sub 1 natin is negative 2. Then, simplify. 2 minus negative 2, that is equal to 4. 6 minus negative 2, that is equal to 8. And then, squared natin yung 4, that is 16. Squared natin yung 8, that is 64. So, 16 plus 64, that is equal to 80. And, square root of 80, that is, uh, pag finactor mo siya, 16 times 5, or we have 4 square root of 5, o yung 8.94 kanina na nasolve natin. So, parehas lang din yung masusolve mong value or yung length ng ating line gamit ang distance formula. Let's try another example. So, una, identify muna natin yung coordinates ng point A. So, that is at 3, negative 2. Kasi sa 3 siya nakatapat at sa negative 2 naman sa y. Yung point B naman natin is at negative 3, 4. and 4 siya nakatapat sa y. So, pwede nating i-label yung point A natin as x sub 1 and y sub 1. Yung point B natin as x sub 2 and y sub 2. And plot na natin sa formula natin na square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity squared. Yung x sub 2 natin na negative 3, x sub 1 na 3, and y sub 2 na 4 at y sub 1 na negative 2. Then, simplify negative 3 minus 3, that is negative 6. And 4 minus negative 2, that is positive 6. Square natin yung negative 6, that is equal to 36. Square mo yung 6, that is 36. And 36 plus 36, that is 72. So, to simplify, i-factor natin yung 72 na may perfect square, that is equal to 36 times 2. So, kung yung square root ng 36, that is 6, tas iwan mo lang yung 2 sa loob ng square root. So, ito na ngayon yung distance between two points or yung length ng ating line segment AB. 
Now, let's try this problem. Graph and show that the following coordinates form an isosceles triangle by using the distance formula. So, ito yung mga points natin. We have point S at negative 1, 4. Ito yun. C at 0, 1. Ito siya. And B at 2, 5. Ito siya. So, pag kinonect natin yung mga points, we can have triangle. Pero, kailangan daw natin i-justify o ipakita na isosceles triangle siya. So, using the distance formula, pwede natin ipakita na isosceles siya. Ano nga ba ang property ng isosceles triangle? Ito yung klase ng triangle na may meron siyang two equal legs. So, kailangan mapatunayan natin na meron siyang at least two equal legs using distance formula. So, una hanapin muna natin yung length ni AC using this SC. Using distance formula. So, yung C natin is yung point 1 at yung S natin is yung point 2. So, ito yung X sub 2, Y sub 2. Ito yung X sub 1 and Y sub 1. So, substitute natin sa formula. Ang X sub 2 natin is negative 1. X sub 1 natin is 0. Y sub 2 is 4. Y sub 1 is 1. Simplify, negative 1 minus 0 is negative 1. For minus 1 is 3. Squared natin yung negative 1, that is 1. Squared natin yung 3, that is 9. So, 1 plus 9 is equal to 10. So, we have ang measurement ng line segment SC natin is square root of 10. Next naman, yung isa pa nating line segment which is BS. Itong BS na to. So, using distance formula again, solve natin yung distance ng BS. Yung point natin, yung point 1 natin is yung point S, yung point 2 is yung point B. So, Ito yung ating x sub 1, x sub, uh, y sub 1, yung x sub 2, tsaka y sub 2. So, substitute sa formula, you have 2 minus negative 1 at tsaka 5 minus 4. So, 2 minus negative 1, that is positive 3, 5 minus 4 is 1. So, square natin yung 3, that is equal to 9, and square natin yung 1, that is 1. 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. So, yung measurement ng BS natin is square root of 10. So, kung mapapansin, congruent siya dun sa SC. So, kailangan pa ba nating hanapin yung measurement ng BC? Hindi na kailangan. Kasi as long as meron tayong dalawang congruent side, masasabi natin na isosceles triangle na siya. So, since SC is congruent to BS, then triangle SBC is an isosceles triangle. Now, let's try another one. Show that the figure form when points L, negative 4, 4, 0, at 3, 9, V at 8, 2, E at 1, negative 3 are connected consecutively is a square. Then, find its perimeter. So, pag sinabi nating perimeter, that is the distance around this polygon. So, kailangan nating hanapin yung mga length ng ating line segment using distance formula and then we're going to add all of them para mahanap natin yung perimeter. So, let's start with finding the line segment OL, yung measurement ng OL natin, itong line segment na to. So, meron tayong coordinate na 3, 9 at saka negative 4, 4. So, using this formula, substitute tayo ito yung point 2 natin, ito yung point 1. So, we have 3 minus negative 4 Tapos, 9 minus 4. Simplify, 3 minus negative 4, that is equal to 7. And 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. So, square natin yung 7, that is equal to 49. Square mo yung 5, that is 25. So, 49 plus 25, that is equal to 74. So, ang measurement ng OL natin is square root of 74. So, alam mo na yung measurement ng OL mo, which is square root of 74. Next naman, yung line segment LE. Ito naman siya, yung LE natin. So, using distance formula again, we can now solve for the measurement of LE. So, yung point natin, yung point 2 natin is yung L, yung point 1 natin is yung E. So, pag sinabsitute mo siya, ang X sub 2 mo ay negative 4, ang X sub 1 mo is 1. Ang y sub 2 mo is 4 at ang y sub 1 mo is negative 3. So, simplify negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. And 4 minus negative 3 is positive 7. Square natin yung negative 5, that is equal to 25. And square mo yung 7, that is equal to 49. 
So, 25 plus 49, that is equal to 74. So, ang measurement ng line segment LE natin is square root of 74. Now, let's continue finding the measurement of the legs. Legs. Ngayon naman, we have line segment EV. So, using distance formula, yung point E natin ay may coordinate na 1, negative 3. Tapos, yung point V natin ay 8, 2. So, using distance formula, ang point 2 natin is uh, 1, negative 3. Ang point 1 natin is 8, 2. So, yung x sub 2 natin is 1. Yung x sub 1 natin is 8. And then, y sub 2 natin is negative 3, y sub 1 is 2. So, simplify 1 minus 8 is equal to negative 7, negative 3 minus, 5, minus 2 is negative 5. So, square natin yung negative 7, that is equal to 49. Square natin yung negative 5, that is equal to 25. 49 plus 25, that is 74. So, yung EB, line segment EB natin ay square root of 74. Last one is yung line segment OV, same pa rin using distance formula. Etong OV na to. So, yung O at coordinate 3, 9 and yung V natin is at 8, 2. So, yung X sub 2 natin will be 3, X sub 1 natin will be 8. And the uh, y sub 2 natin is 9 at the y sub 1 natin is 2. So, we have now 3 minus 8 is negative 5. 9 minus 2 is 7. So, squared natin yung negative 5 that is equal to 25. Squared natin yung 7 that is 49. So, 25 plus 49 that is squared of 74. Ito na yung measurement ng line segment OB natin. So, since halos lahat sila, lahat sila actually ay square root of 74. And to find the perimeter of a square that is simply P is equal to 4S. So, 4 times square root of 74, that is equal to 4 square root of 74. Ito na ngayon yung ating perimeter of this square.